Taking a screenshot does vary from device to device. In our district, there are three top devices most used, which are the Windows, PCs, Macs, and Chrome OS. So I'll go through the steps on how to take screenshots on those devices. To access this website, you can go to takeascreenshot.org. And if you look in the description of this video, you'll see a link there for easy access. I do recommend that you bookmark this to refer to it at a later time so you always have it as a reference. So let's pick up with the Windows and how to screenshot on a Windows PC. So you will need to hold down the Windows key, Shift and S all at the same time. And then you're going to use your mouse to actually draw a rectangle in order to specify area to capture. And then Windows copies it to the clipboard. And of course, your snippet tool will pop up. And if you don't know, your snippet tool is the tool that Windows use for screen capturing. And then the snippet tool will walk you through saving it to your desktop or your files, wherever you like to save it, to reference it later and to have that information. So of course it all goes through the snippet tool when you do that information. Now let's move on to Mac. For Mac, you have two options for a full screen. You hold down Command, Shift, and 3 all at the same time. Capture your full screen. My favorite is to do partial screens shots, which is Command, Shift, and 4. Hold all three buttons down at the same time. Then you're going to use your mouse to draw an area that you would like to capture. It's going to save it to your desktop, whatever settings you have, to your pictures, your files, wherever you have it set to go. But it's always going to be labeled as a screenshot, and then you would have to go back and rename it. And if you scroll down a little further, there is a video here that walks you through how to screenshot on a Mac. Chrome. This is what our students are using as teachers, too. You have those nice 14-inch Chromebooks. You want to know how to take a screenshot on those? Let's go through the steps. I recommend doing the partial screenshots. You're going to hold down Control, Shift, and the button with the, the rectangle and the three lines. And then, of course, you use your mouse to designate what area you would like to screenshot. And then a pop-up similar to this pops up letting you know that the screenshot was taken. You can copy it to your clipboard. And also, I have a short video here for you to watch if you want to also see it in a video. But those are the shortcuts to accessing a screenshot on the different devices. Remember, the link to this site is in the description. Click on it and bookmark it.